What's up, good people? Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I DIY'd my ring bear pillow and flower girl basket for my wedding. So, first off, I found this ring bear pillow at Goodwill and it only cost me $1.99. And although my colors are purple and gold for my wedding, it's not this shade of purple. So I just went ahead and started snipping away. I snipped away the little ribbon that was attached to it. And then I also snipped away the flower in the center. And for those of you that are not familiar with ring bear pillows, they put a ribbon on the back of the pillow that is supposed to allow the ring bearer to just put their hand in it and easily carry it down the aisle. And so I went ahead and snipped that part off too and just removed all the excess string. And I had some extra of this beige type fabric that I just had kind of laying around and I figured this would be a great use for it. Um, I kind of measured how much fabric it would take for me to completely cover the entire pillow and then I also just kind of over measured so that I would make sure to leave room for mistakes. And if you've seen a few of the DIYs on my channel, you know I kind of just wing stuff so I'm really just eyeballing this as I am cutting. Now I am just removing the pillow and folding it back. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it inside out so that the part with the mark or stain can be on the outside, which will actually eventually be on the inside when I am done sewing. And I'm not doing any special type stitch. I'm just basically sewing it. I could have really hot glue gunned it, but I wanted to make sure it was super secure because this will be handled by a toddler and I do not want it you know just falling apart so I took the extra time to really just make sure that it was secure and as you can see one of those edges was folded so I didn't have to worry about sewing it I sewed two of the other edges and the last edge I did not sew because I wanted to go ahead and just flip it inside out so that those edges could be seamless or as seamless as possible. And once I got that nicely flipped inside out, I could go ahead and stuff that existing pillow right in there as if it was a pillowcase. And this part is completely optional, but I went ahead and trimmed off some of that excess fabric. Okay, and this part is kind of difficult to explain, but I promise it's super easy to do. You basically take that fabric and fold it in to give it that seamless look. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and glue it a little bit below that fold or seam that you made. And then you're going to press it together for a few seconds and... Then you're going to just repeat those steps all the way until you get to the end. And of course you want to be super careful with the hot glue gun if you're accident prone like myself because I did burn myself a couple times. So please just be careful. And now we have a brand new looking seamless-ish pillow. <laughs> And we're not done yet. Now we can go ahead and start decorating to our liking. So I went ahead and I got this ribbon from Dollar Tree. I'm sure many of you have seen this ribbon before. And starting at the edge, kind of eyeball as much in the middle as you can. And I'm just going to hot glue gun it. And being, again, very, very careful because it is hot, press it onto the pillow. And I'm only putting the hot glue in the middle of the ribbon and I'm just taking it all the way around until I get to back to where I started.
So next, I am gluing the ribbon on crossways, but I'm doing this one a little bit differently. On the front part, I'm gluing it down the same way that I did before, just going ahead and gluing it all the way up the middle of the ribbon and placing it directly onto the pillow. But once I get to the back side of the pillow, I'm going to stop hot glue gunning and I'm going to just leave a little bit of space for the ring bearer to just kind of slide their hand under and be able to hold the pillow. So I'm just going to leave that little bit of space and just glue the very end of the ribbon. And I doubt your ring bearer will actually use this feature, especially if they're really young. Um, but if you have an older ring bearer, then it may come in handy. Next, I'm going to take one of these flowers that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it's supposed to mimic like a dark purple carnation. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that stem off and just slather a bunch of hot glue to the bottom and just stick it in the middle of the pillow. Then I have some of the string that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut off a piece of it and just hot glue gun it to the bottom of that flower. And the purpose of the string is really just to hold on to those rings or those pop rings while the ring bear is going down the aisle. And so I kept the string a little bit long, but you can leave it however long or short that you like. Um, you can also, if you want to tie it in a bow, you can tie it in a bow or you can just leave it long, whatever you prefer. Okay, so that was kind of a lot, but this Fargo basket is going to be a lot more simpler. Um, I got this basket also from Goodwill, and all I'm going to do is take that same Dollar Tree ribbon, the burlap ribbon, and I'm going to tie it in a bow, and then I'm going to take a little dot of hot glue gun to the back of that bow and just press it right on the middle. And I'm kind of extra. I really wanted to make sure that that bow was secure, so I just started kind of sewing it to the fly girl basket. But of course, you don't have to do that. This is a completely optional step. You also don't have to leave the ribbon as long as I did. I just wanted to make sure that I kept it long just in case I wanted to curl the ribbon or something. And I would always be able to cut it later. And lastly, I just took that same type of purple flower, just in a smaller version, and added the hot glue gun to the back of it and stuck it right into the middle. And y'all, just looking back at what it looked like before, I am super proud of the work that we did. And this all costs less than $10, so very economical compared to what you see these go for online and stuff like that. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you next time. Peace.